Well, we're spoilt, aren't we? This is the first of three meetings in 35 days between these old and bitter rivals who've been squabbling over trophies for 121 years now. Memories of Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo of more recent vintage, but going back, Figo, Ramos, Maradona, Raul Suarez, and the man sitting alongside me who scored in one of these, Steve McManaman. Hi, Steve. This is the Real Madrid side tonight. They bring back Luka Modric and Eduardo Camavinga and leave out Ceballos and Asensio. Most of this team, even Tony Kroos, have never won the Copa del Rey. So modest have Real been in this competition. Karim Benzema has scored in both the Clasicos this season. And 18-year-old Alvaro Rodriguez, who hit the headlines at the weekend with that equaliser in the Madrid derby, he's on the bench for Real Madrid tonight. Might see him later on. Referee... Munuera Montero. They've been one or two over the years between these two clubs. <laughs> Barcelona are perhaps crucially without the injured top scorer Robert Lewandowski, as well as Pedri and Dembele tonight. Xavi's changed the entire defence after the defeat at Almeria with Araujo, Kunde, Alonso, and Balde forming the new back line. Torres will play as the number nine with Rafinha returning on the right hand side. You see Luka Modric's run, it's very tight, if anything, he's onside, the left-back Balde's playing him onside. So VAR would have had a look if it ended up in the back of the net, but up here and it went up very late. You see Luka Modric's run, it's very tight, if anything, he's onside, the left-back Balde's playing him onside. So VAR would have had a look if it ended up in the back of the net, but Kunde does well, actually. He's not blessed now with a lot of pace, Luka Modric. He's made something of it. United uh, given away again, Real Madrid, Valverde, Modric, lovely touch from him, Vinicius, Benzema, big chance and goal, brilliantly taken, Flags off flag is up I think though on the far side, Benzema offside. This will be interesting this, you see, oh yeah he is offside, he's a good yard offside actually, he doesn't need to do that Benzema, is doing certainly by the referees. It's a sign, isn't it, the way this is being contested by Barcelona, that just at the moment they do have their backs to the wall. They've got an opportunity with Kessie getting in here, and it's a goal! It was Messi, but it's gone, but that, by the look of it, is going to be chalked off as well. I don't know whether Kessie was offside, Ian. I think it was Rafinha, he was way offside. Let's have a look here. That's a poor ball. Kessie's onside. Yeah. Rafinha was way offside, wasn't he? And Rafinha doesn't get involved doesn't get at involved all. With it. So, so that'll be uh, go through for the fine tooth comb treatment from the VAR. Rafinha was the player who looked to be offside, unless Kessie was just off. Yeah, it was very close. We need to slow it down and have a look at it. We haven't had that chance yet, but it was incredibly tight. Well, it's a dramatic moment here in the game. Have Barcelona got themselves in front? It's going to take a little bit of unravelling, I think. It's a huge mistake from Camavinga. I think they may have seen it on the big screen. That's what Kessie seems to say. Goal. Goal. They've given it. Rafinha wasn't interfering at all. And Barcelona get themselves in front here. Against the run of play, mistake by Camavinga, and Barcelona cash in now. Instead of defending parity, they're defending a lead. Yeah, brilliant for Barcelona. Kept the crowd quiet and he punished Madrid. Lovely ball by Torres, very tight, as you can clearly see. He looked onside, gets a bit of fortune, Courtois saves it, it's actually off Militawi and, and into the back of the net, it'll be an own goal. It's a right old miss with Kessie's shot, yeah, good off, save. Off Militao and, 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 and then off and Nacho, Nacho as there. well, so, so it actually might be Nacho's own <laughs> goal. Rudiger's beginning to settle down after an uncertain beginning really yeah. to his Real Madrid career. and a yellow card. 
fact that Rafinha never even batted an eyelid, you knew he was willing to take it, pulling his shirt. Freddy Valverde is very much centrally in the pitch. You can't expect Danny Carvajal to do two jobs as a right winger and a right midfielder. Valverde, some danger. Vinicius Jr. arriving, it took a deflection. Could have bubbled up anywhere, it's gone behind. Look at the Real Madrid fans behind that goal. Trying to almost suck the ball in. Araujo did really well, actually. Gets his body across to block the shot. Benzema. And now Valverde. Vinicius is ball in, and Ter Stegen had to stretch. Again, it's easy enough, isn't it, for Ter Stegen? He's too good. That's not going to worry him at all. While he's on the floor, it's just all a bit slow, isn't it? Yeah, he was just caught out of position for a moment. Carvajal's ball in. Koundé, the defender who played in the World Cup for France. Yellow card for Frank Kessie. Kessie yeah. Flailing arm. I mean, there was nothing in it at all, was he? That's just what happens. You, your arms have to move out. You want to protect yourself and protect the ball. Didn't seem a lot in that, really, no. did that? Just uh, shielding the ball. So here is Rodrigo, and it's Nacho who's coming off. They're very, very content with this game as it is. Barcelona or anything else would be a bonus and there might be a bonus coming up here Rafinha to play it in Torres was arriving and that easily could have resulted in the second goal had they got it right yeah and it should have been in it actually wasn't a great ball by Rafinha there was loads of space to play it into that area and they will have him back of course for the second leg De Jong to spread it wide in fact he's waiting through the middle for a delivery here was pulled back to Kessie. Wonderful chance. It's Fatty. It hit Fatty on the way. Was it going in? I think it was in, yeah. He just placed it into the corner. They've lost Nabil Fakir, haven't they, for the whole season? Which is a big blow, of course, for Real Betis. Yeah, Betis drawn against Manchester United in the Europa League as well. It's a bit deep, that one. It's kept in play against the odds. Good work by Valverde. Benzema here. Doesn't need much room, but doesn't get any. Vinicius, did he keep it in play? If he did, I don't think he did. No, it looked like it went out. I don't think he did. I think they're thinking about whether it was handball here, but I don't think it was. That's okay. Yeah. It's all right, yeah. This one here, there, off Ferran Torres. Just off his shoulder, wasn't it? Top of his arm, he's not getting a penalty for that. You never know with these two, though, whether the second leg might be uh, another kettle of fish, as they say. Oh, yeah, of course, especially as it's uh, a month on nearly. Well, over a month, isn't it? Kamavinga's cross. Ede Militao and Danny Carvajal. Alonso got a foot to it, not a very decisive one. Benzema. And Real Madrid stage, one of their late, late shows. they've got coming up a return game with Liverpool on March the 15th Rodrigo wants to shoot does shoot well that's as close as Real Madrid have been yeah threatening to Stegen but always fading wide just trying to whip it round you see to Stegen was across always following the ball as Rodrigo ran across the pitch. It's good effort. 